Okay, we are back at the cylinder tank. And we're going to try to use a pressure washer today to clean the cylinder tank. So, let's see how that works out. sculpture. Uh, once we're done with the pressure washer, we have to flush out its interior <coughs> to free it of a, a, a salt, <coughs> salt residue. Whoa, don't choke up on us now. And that's a good reason to always clean out the equipment after using it in salt water. So I've got something I have to admit. I've kind of got this childhood fear of really loud motors or being near really loud motors. It all stems from a hand-controlled model airplane when I was a little kid, but that's another story. So I'm looking at the assortment of tools that William's given me to use for the pressure sprayer, a variety of nozzles and spray heads. Make note of the problem I have with that nozzle. It'll come back to haunt me later. So the first real trick is being able to get this whole spray head arrangement into the tank in a manner that I can actually use it. Keep in mind, inside the tank is that artificial coral reef, which dominates the interior. So it really limits the amount of depth or angles that I can really reach at or in at. I also have to maneuver it through the opening in the top of the tank. But at the moment, it's time to deal with one of those childhood fears. Okay. Lawnmower days. Let's see, there's the pole thing. Okay, yeah. You have, you have an off and on switch right here. So what you want to do, you want to have it on. Okay. And then you come over here, you actually have, this is, this is actually to close the gas line and to open it. Right so here, it's open then. Right here, yeah, yeah. Right here, it can go to to rabbit or it can go to turtle. What's rabbit? So, uh, turtle. Fast and slow. Engine speed? Yes, engine oh. speed. So um, right here, what you want to do is start it fast first, and then from there you can increase the pressure to slower. You know, so you want to use it. A lot of, uh, no, see, rabbit and turtle. What's the next one? Uh, that's it. This is rabbit and turtle. That's all it is right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is really the <laughs> doing anything. <laughs> okay. But yeah, now you could just pull and it'll start. Go ahead, you want to try it? Give it a pull. It's not that hard. You could just can I put my hand? Yeah, don't put my hand. Well, you put it on here. You know. Oh, and by the way, there is a second thing I need to clue you in on. I've never done this before. So we're all going to be learning something today. I don't think that's strong enough. Do you? I think it's doing anything? See, it's kind of... So as it turns out, the gigantic spits and spurts that the uh, pressure washer went through over the next course of 10 minutes was the process of evacuating the air that was in the line. 
Once the air got evacuated, it ran at a consistent strong rate. But the end result was, even when it did get itself primed and ran at a consistent rate, the algae just wouldn't budge. It wouldn't blow off, even with consistent pressure. So now I have the pressure sprayer extension nozzle lying at the bottom of the tank. A 66 inch deep tank. So it's time to be smart. We're going to use the uh, algae cleaning pad on the end of a long pole to prop up or raise up the extension nozzle for the pressure sprayer. Well then use the tongs to reach down and grab a hold of the extension rod and see if we can lift it up and out of the tank. pressure washer thing really was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, it, it really didn't turn out the way I thought it would. I mean, that algae is, is pretty damn tough. So we decided to call it quits for the day. We'll attack it again next week. Um, I think we'll, over time, uh, develop a, a proper and effective procedure. But this first attempt was, um, let's just call it practice. Uh, I think I'll feed the fish. Uh, that's always exciting, so um, until next time, keep moving forward.